Hello and welcome back. This time we're going to talk about the object itself. Uh, last time we made a short introduction, now we're going to talk about the object. Uh, let's go directly into Medias Res, uh, the middle of the thing, and start. Object. Object. What is an object? Uh, or what can an object contain? An object usually contains some uh, things which are called attributes. An object has some attributes. Object has some attributes. The number is not limited. There are some attributes in the object which describe the object somehow. Attributes. For instance, here my box. If I would see my box as an object, one attribute would be broad, length, height, number of, of, of elements or, or, or compartments. Yeah. Then if I do have another box, yeah, I have a different number of compartments maybe. Okay. So this describing. This is describing the the situation or the, the this is describing the object simply. Yeah? There are attributes. The object is described by attributes. Hmm? And then there are so-called methods. Take this one. Methods. These are functions mainly. Uh, there is also a number of methods. Uh, and these methods are usually used to influence the attribute somehow. Uh, so these methods are influencing the attributes. And maybe give them back. And that's it. Yeah. One possible method of this object would be take out table. Yeah. Then I have influenced maybe the attribute of number of cables in this compartment. Yeah. Put in cable. Yeah. This would be object uh, methods. The thing is that we capsuled now within a so-called object methods and attributes which belong to this object. So the methods describe what I can do with this object and the attributes describe how the object is currently looking, the current state. And this describe the possible changes. This object yeah, now it's written here object. This is what an object can contain. But actually, this is just a description how the object should look like. Yeah? So this is something like a complex data type yeah? consisting of data and functions, procedures. Yeah? These data this data may, might be variables from primitive data types, also from complex data types, or even other objects might be contained here. And these methods are functions, procedures, something like this, which belong to this object. Yeah? So this is not the object itself. This is describing the data type of the object or the so-called object class. Yeah? This is the object class. Object class is nothing more than a complex data type. It's called object class. Okay. It's a class of the object. The object itself will be created. Yeah. I say now, okay, I create the object of object class box. Oof, here it is. Yeah. Then this is the description on how we could describe the box, that's the object class, the type, and the real 
incarnation of the object incarnation because it's not really incarnation yeah uh, because there is no carne yeah no meat the real thing is then generated out of this plan okay the real thing is called an instance yeah? so based on the object class we are producing an object instance okay so this is an object and this object instance is now really present in the memory of our system. When I create the object of a certain object class, it's there. Like when we use a variable with a certain type, it's there. Just the type doesn't make anything. So there might be one or more object instances of the same object class. Why not? I, know I do not have to have only one box. I have several boxes. Object instance, object class, object, in, object instance. Okay. Now, the idea of capsulating those things is pretty nice. Yeah? Then all things which belong together are together. However, I want to have some privacy maybe. Yeah? I do not want to see everybody what is inside my object. I have some object, we can use it. And there are attributes and methods which might not be that interesting or should not be read by somebody out there. So all those methods and attributes can have uh, four levels of, of privacy. The lowest level of privacy, the lowest level of privacy is public. A public attribute or a public method can be seen by anyone, can be used by anyone, is there, yeah? public. I can define some attributes as public, I can define some other attributes as next level protected. Okay. Protected means the object itself can use it. Other objects or other code cannot use it with the exception of child objects. So if there is a child object which is based on this object, a protected method attribute can be used by the child. Okay? So a derived object can use protected things. Yeah? Then there is private. Private attributes methods can only be used by object of this class. Book. Yeah? Not even my kids are allowed to look into my private parts. Ah, now I said I read something. <laughs> okay, derived object classes are not allowed to look into private attributes, private methods, and so on. Yeah? There's a certain borderline. This is private. If I define an attribute private, it's exclusively for me. Okay. In some object classes, there's also packet. Is this written correct? No. Packet. 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 This is only in some uh, in some languages. There is a packet, and there is a packet level, and you can group objects object classes in a certain package and everything or maybe in sometimes it's also namespace so called namespace yeah. inside a certain packet inside a certain namespace I will mark this inside a certain packet or a namespace these attributes and methods can be seen by each other. It's like a family. Huh? Inside the family, things are different. We share. 
Uh, outside family, outside our packet or namespace? No. Hmm? So that's it. Yeah? Methods, attributes might be of different level, describing object class, derive building, this is the plan, object instances are then produced. Yeah? This whole stuff inside the methods, the attributes and so on, these are called these are called the interface. Huh? Interface. Schnittstelle, interface of the object. Huh? Yeah. This is an object. So an object is a complex data type which has some capsules, the things which should belong together, okay? Some uh, programming languages even allow to define operators for object. Yeah? So there's a plus operator maybe, yeah? and then I can add one box and make the plus operator and, uh, and put the second one on there. Now I make the minus operator, put it away again. Mm. So that's an object, object oriented program languages. Yeah. Next time we're going to talk about how from the real world I just made now this, this box, yeah. uh, how we can derive an object, yeah. abstract an object in our data model from the real world. Yeah, we will see there are some there are some things to overcome. Yeah. Well, I hope this is clear now. Thank you very much for listening. I'm calling method end video. Goodbye. Method executed. <laughs>